Alright, we have a lot to talk about and not much time. This video was written about 4 hours after the new trailer dropped. Unfortunately, I was at work when the trailer dropped and didn't get off work for another 3 hours, so I wasn't able to start until much later and get the video up the following morning. But anyway, let's get into it. Release date for the Battle Network Legacy Collection is finally public. April 14th, 2023. Pre-orders are now live. Pre-order bonuses include two skins for AI Companion Mega Man, Hub Style for Legacy Collection Volume 1, and Dark Mega Man for Legacy Collection Volume 2. There are also some new arranged BGM tracks included, and there may actually be more bonuses in the future. We're going ahead and pre-ordering copies for every platform that it's being released on. Switch, PS4, and Steam. If it later comes to Xbox, I'll get that one too. The more sales this generates, the more likely we are to see a resurgence of Rockman EXE. More on that later. Event exclusive and e-reader battle chips are available for download. Base, Gospel, Gate SP, Punk, Grand Prix Power, Duo, Leader's Raid, Chaos Lord, Gregar, Falzar, and Double Beast. Download these from the Mega Man status screen in each game. Online multiplayer. We have casual battles, ranked matches, random public battles, and private battles. Battle for real or practice like in the originals, and you can do triple battles. For balancing, there's a 20 second timer on the custom screen per turn. Mr. Famous said that more features will be revealed later. Chip trading for all games, style trading for Battle Network 2, and Navi Customizer Program trading are all possible. Libraries and records can be compared in between versions to increase the attack power of your SP Navi and expand your battle chip library. And in Battle Network 4, you can trade Navis back and forth to have free tournaments. This most likely also means that all scenarios will be unlockable and that all the secret trips will have to be obtained the old fashioned way. So that means that it doesn't have the same feature that the eShop ports did. They have confirmed that there will be more Mr. Famous news in the future, so we'll get more info as time goes on. We'll be on the lookout for the next Direct. I personally predict the next one will be sometime in late January or early to mid-February, and then maybe two more after that, one in mid-March, and the last one right before the collection launches in April. So far, still no confirmation on the status of Boktai's presence in these games. The only clue that hints towards anything is the number of standard battle chips in the library for Battle Network 6. It's still 180, which would include all three standard class Gundam Soul chips, unless they've been replaced by something else and not just outright removed. Japan is also getting some unique pre-order collector's edition exclusives. I hope the US version will get something similar. Outside the Legacy Collection, we also have more exciting news. Both the official Capcom channels and Twitch accounts are posting and streaming the first two seasons of the Mega Man NT Warrior anime early next year. In fact, the Japanese Capcom YouTube channel already has the first few episodes of Rockman EXE posted. This is good. This puts my mind at ease a bit regarding the anime's preservation. This says to me that there is a chance that there might be another re-release in the future. This also fills my head with wild dreams and ideas. If they decide to keep going and release Access's dub on the English Capcom channel, then we might finally get an HD version of Access's English dub. I'll be watching to see if the videos posted on that channel are the censored NT Warrior footage or if they're the Japanese version with the English dub. I'm also entertaining the idea that maybe, just maybe, when Andrew Francis said that he was reprising his role for a Mega Man EXE cartoon, they might have actually dubbed more of the anime, even if it's just the so far undubbed episodes from the first two seasons, and they might plan to release them soon. Probably not, but I can dream. What I think is kind of funny is that during the commercial breaks of these videos on the Capcom channel, it plays the trailer for the Legacy Collection. I love that kind of self-aware advertising in promos like this. These episodes aren't subtitled though, nor do they currently have YouTube closed captioning. Honestly, my mind is racing a bit right now, and I'm trying to not overhype myself. I didn't think that this would happen, and it opens up possibilities in the near future. I'm trying to not overhype myself so that I'm not disappointed if my wild dreams and ideas don't come true. So, not a very eventful video from us this time, just a basic recap of all the news that we got in the recent reveals. We'll have links to all of this in the description, and we're looking forward to hearing more news in the future. But what do you think about the reveals? Are we going to get more pre-order bonuses? Is America going to get a special edition bundle like Japan? Do you think Access will be posted, or just the first two seasons? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.